What in the world is going on out there? Hey everybody, this is Mike with Asymmetrical Preparedness, and this is a Saturday sit wrap. This is reports from you guys, my subscribers, people who are watching the channel, sending me emails at asymmetricalpreparedness at gmail.com and letting me know what's going on, what you guys are seeing around the nation. So if you want to be part of this report, please email me at asymmetricalpreparedness at gmail.com. Please put in there whatever name you want to be referred to, um, a general location of where you are, and what are you seeing. Um, try not to write a novel. Try to keep it, you know, as clean and concise as possible. And I will include it in the report. So, <clears throat> thank you all, also, for everybody that has been sending me information and reports. I know there's other channels doing this, but I feel it's important <clears throat> to reach more people to get this out there to help paint the bigger picture of what is actually going on. Kind of documenting the collapse of the United States, unfortunately. But there's a lot going on out there. So let's get started. Um, actually, before I get started, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, comment below, um, and share the videos. Also, if you see things, um, please send them in an email form instead of comments. I try my best to keep up on comments. Um, actually, I, I can't say I'm my best, but I try to keep up on comments, but it's much more difficult and stuff like that. So if you have any intel, any report, um, please email me. Um, yes, yeah, so let's get on with it. <clears throat> All right, Rita. Um, no location. I apologize for that. Um, her Walmart was almost wiped out of mustard, frozen potatoes, and out of ball canning jars. I don't know if she means out of all canning jars or just the ball brand. Um, but yeah, that's one of those things that these are things that people get when they are looking to be better prepared, especially the canning jars. And it also may be a seasonal thing though too, because now people are starting to harvest a lot of stuff. So maybe people are just canning more. So sometimes there's, you know, extenuating factors. Sometimes it's actually something going on, shortages. But um, luckily, I traveled 15 minutes down to the road at Mayhairs, I guess is how you pronounce it. I don't know. And they had plenty. Otherwise, the store was stocked. I grabbed extra mustard, milk, and eggs. <clears throat> Never heard of a mustard shortage, but hey, you know, maybe that's a timing thing too. Since it's summer, more people are going out and doing barbecues and stuff. Who knows? But it's good information. All right, this is Michael from South Southern Mississippi. I uh, live in a small town in southern Mississippi. Um, he said where it is, but I'm not going to say that for OPSEC purposes. Still seeing a lack of rice, beans, and empty shelves in Walmart. Also, we drop a car. Okay, they dropped the car to the Ford dealership on the 12th for them to replace the alternator. Um, they can't get one until the 22nd. Some auto parts are hard to find. Talk to a person who's having to cut back on his pickup um, from twice a week to once, from twice a week to once a week, can't help, can't find any help, no one who wants to work, so he's trying to do it by himself. Okay, sorry, I hope that made sense. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've heard about auto parts and um, shortages and stuff like that. Um, alternators, there's no chips in them, so it's not necessarily the chip shortage thing. I think it's just generally speaking, things that come from manufacturing processes may be of short supply and getting shorter supply. <clears throat> Alright, this is another Michael. Good name, right? Um, Florida. I'm from the Miami, Florida area. I noticed canned goods from Publix have gone way up in price. Yeah, I've seen the same thing. I don't think it's because of a supply issue. I think it's because more and more people are getting prepared and stocking up. That's a great thing. Maybe um, supply and demand type thing. I don't know. Or it may just be because a lot of other factors, the grocery stores are having to pay more shipping and stuff like that, more for fuel. Um, I think it's more along those kind of lines um, than necessarily popularities. But, you know, I could be wrong. I also noticed um, people are much more on edge. Yeah, I've definitely seen that too. You can feel it in the air. Seems the poor economy and high inflation is getting to them. Wait, poor economy? I thought we had the best economy in the world. <laughs> yeah, according to Sniffy Joe. Um, <clears throat> I also wrote on the ch 
on the channel about a tree called Moringa. Moringa tree in reference to the guy that wrote about his medications. I'm sure he was talking about insulin. Um, I forget what it was, but um, he said, please refer him to my post. The seeds from the Moringa tree are great for diabetics. Um, as a nutritional supplement, right? Not as a cure, because we can't say that. Because the, um, yeah, you know. <laughs> Alright, so this report is from Troy. Um, <clears throat> let me see if he said where he was... I forget. I'm pretty sure I know who this is, Troy, but um, I forget his exact location. All right, anyway, we have a favorite chicken place. Uh, it's been a long-standing um, thing to meet his stepdad there at least once a month and have lunch. Best buffet in town. Generally, it's been about $30 for me, my son, and him. Now, due to shortages um, and increased prices, probably, and everything else that's inside, <clears throat> or everything else, the inside is closed during the week. Now it's closer to $40 for us to eat, and the offerings in the buffet are more limited. Yep, and we're going to see more and more of that. Um, he also said two foot long, or two foot long subs, not two foot long. I've never heard of a two foot long, but you know, two foot long subs <laughs> at Subway with chips and a drink have, all, have been $20 historically. We went this week, and the exact same order was $30. Yeah, get used to it, people. This is the way it is going to be. This is why we prepare. Um, all right. Thought I was going to be, you know, this is Troy still. Thought I was going to be in a localized SHTF moment early this week. It's been dry for two months. Yeah, that's been happening around also. A neighbor down the road thought it would be wise to burn limbs and leaves. Not a wise idea when you're in a drought or really dry conditions, right? No. Twelve small fire trucks, a dozer from the forestry department, um over the forestry department's fire department and a local older, older gentleman in his tractor was able to contain it before it got out of hand. No injuries or loss of property. That's good. That's what we got to do. Community helping each other. <clears throat> okay, another more continued on from him. I can't walk fast and at times I have to stop to let the pain ease before I can go on again. From the time I walk into the local grocery store, I can walk all the way around it and every aisle in less than five minutes, stopping twice for pain. Not a very big store at all. I had to get lettuce, all they had that looked decent and wouldn't all they had that looked decent and wouldn't be wasted was a small bag of shredded lettuce. Okay. So in other words the lettuce probably didn't look that great. Um, it was the first item I picked up. By the time I <clears throat> managed to get to the other side of the store for a bag of chips and into line, I looked at the lettuce and it had already started to brown. Wow, that's uh, pretty crazy. But yeah, I mean, check your produce. Um, this happens. Not just a little, the entire brown bag was brown. Needless to say, I didn't have lettuce on my taco salad. Yep, things are changing, people. All right, so here we go. Jen reports, uh, let me see, local area. Don't have a local area. Okay, but anyway. Just to let you know in my area, ch churches do have food boxes. Yeah, that's a, that's a good thing. So that is one way for people to get some good free groceries. My mom's church gives boxes full of breakfast food, lunch food, and supper food every day. Or every Thursday, sorry. For a few years, not a lot of people were coming out for the boxes. But they are now. That's because our economy was actually pretty darn good. Now, a lot of people are suffering due to the events the last couple of years and the, <coughs> and the, you know, that thing and all that stuff. Yeah, a lot more people, a lot fewer people are working. All right. Um, if there are any left over at the end of the day, the church members go through the boxes and take home things. Cool. Donations from, come from grocery stores. Yeah. A family member needs or a family member works at a drug rehab and tells me they get so much donated food in the storage room, fridges, freezers stay full. Awesome, that's a good thing. A donation a few weeks ago included about 100 containers of different types of baby formula. Can you believe it? Most donations come from Walmart. Yeah, seeing as we've been in baby food shortages, um, but it, hey, at least, you know, some people were getting help. Or not baby food, baby formula shortages. Um... They tried to give away many, the many, many bags of cane sugar, coffee, and powdered milk. 
had no takers. I told him to bring it to me. <laughs> Smiley face. Yeah, totally. That's another thing. If you're talking with local charitable organizations, local churches, whatever it may be, food banks, and sometimes they get in stuff that they can't just give to the regular, the, the general public. They're not allowed to give out the front door because it's not labeled for um, nutritional data and or not individually wrapped, etc. And or they may have lots of excess. I find that with fruits and vegetables. I go down there and pick them up from mine because they can't you they can't give away enough before the fruits or vegetables go bad. So I say, hey, if you got any extras you need to get rid of, I'll take them. We'll make jams, jellies, we'll can them, we'll dehydrate them, um, have a buddy with a freeze dryer, we may freeze dry some, stuff like that. And or if anything's left over, we could also compost it. It's great for compost, right? All right. Um, Food banks are asking for donations and not reaching their goals. They set up in front of Walmart and grocery stores. Um, anyway, I just want to let you know in my area there are ways to get food if you know about it. Um, hunt it, hunt for it through churches. Yeah, and that's a great way. Faith-based faith -based organizations, community organizations instead of the government. Great way to help take care of each other. All right, this is Troy um, again, I think. Same Troy, I forget. See, my son helps me with these emails. He goes through and scans them. He uh, um, puts them in a Word document for me and prints them for me. So uh, I get what he helps me with. And it's a big help. Shout out to my son. He's, he's awesome. He's a big help. So this is Troy. All right, yesterday I had to go to town. It's 12 miles away. There were three. Oh, he also talked about the fact of he may be a little more aware of certain things going on than most people are or hypervigilant type thing. But, uh, so anyway, there were three 18-wheelers on the side of the road with hoods up and two hotshot one-ton dualies with the hoods up scattered on the side of the road. I've been seeing more trucks that are down due to mechanical failures, like hoods up. Um, it's normal to see a rig down with a blown tire or push limits and had to pull over to take the mandatory brakes before they could um, make it to the truck stop. But mechanical failures have not been anywhere near as bad in the past from what he's seen. I don't know if there are shortages on rig parts, which there probably are, um, and they're trying to lengthen the, um, the um, service cycles and the repair and maintenance cycles, trying to push the limits. Um, if they're pushing them harder, trying to keep goods moving, or if something sinister is happening. He says, the conspiracy theorist in me says it's sinister, but I'm praying it's just the drivers pushing the limits and not actually going down and doing the maintenance. That may be also, maybe a time factor, maybe so they've been so busy that they haven't been able to keep up on maintenance as much. But um, yeah, okay, so it's things I've seen in my area. I have seen just pretty much shortages kind of here and there throughout stores. Um, I can't think of anything specifically, but because um, it, it changes and it may be, you know, shipping, it may be what they're getting. I'm not really sure, but um I just encourage you guys to keep on prepping, and um, yeah, if you have any more information like this, please email me at asymmetricalpreparedness at gmail.com, put in there whatever name you want to be referred to as, um, in a general location, please, and then what's going on, so that we all can take this information in, look at it, and kind of helps give us a bigger picture of what is actually going on out there. So I really appreciate everybody that sent me uh, information. The more the merrier. Please send me information. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.